you're watching America Trends. I'm Mary Burt Godwin, and our next guest is an operations and marketing, or I'm sorry, she's a licensed agent in multiple states, real estate agent. She has started multiple real estate brokerages. She is the founder and CEO of Stats Solutions, which is a leading virtual operations management company with the goal to improve profitability of brokerages around the U.S. so that they can scale sustainably. Welcome to America Trends, Jennifer Stats. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm so glad you're here. We're kind of matching in our colors scheme. I know. So where are you zooming in from, Jennifer? I'm in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Okay, great. Now you've been in the real estate business for quite some time. Tell me how you started in this, this world. I have. Um, when I was 20 years old, I decided to stop going to college and I got my uh, license in California. And then a few years ago, we moved to Colorado and I had been running real estate brokerages. So I decided to do this for other businesses. So now I do it virtually from here. We live on five acres and then I run real estate brokerages nationwide. Wow, that's pretty awesome. And uh, that probably took off during COVID, right? You know, you could, I mean, did it take off during COVID or when did you start? Stat Solutions? Yeah, I mean, we started it before COVID. I would say now it's more acceptable yeah. than I do. Um, before I used to be like on speakerphone on people's desks and now Zoom is much more of the norm. So it's definitely taken off. So let's dive in and talk about, you know, re remote businesses and how they can scale successfully and why aren't they scaling successfully? What are some of the downfalls? Yeah. I mean, this is a big question. I mean, we're really with any business, but it's a big question that's kind of brought to me is how, you know, what's the next step? And generally when I'm working with a lot of these business owners, it's learning how to delegate and learning how to hire. Mm. And delegating for a lot of these high powered CEOs and business owners sometimes is hard because they feel like they're the only ones that can do it correctly. I think that is across the board one of the hardest skills to learn as a leader, as anything. I know that is something I, I struggle with personally and I think any level because there is that feeling of, oh, I'll just get it done myself. You know, yeah. it's just easier sometimes. And I think sometimes it, it's the patience to actually sit down and, and be very clear about expectations and then the process and then let it go. It's very hard to let things go, right? So how do you work with these business owners and these real estate agents to delegate and let things go. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's just a learning experience. I mean, for me too, over the years, just realizing that a lot of times, as long as you get it out of your head, other people might do things better than you is just a hard thing to realize as a business owner. Um, so one of the exercises I actually put some of my clients through, or some of just fellow entrepreneurs is I just, I do something called like a yellow pad technique. Hmm. So I say, you know, Hey, for one or two weeks, you're going to take a yellow pad, you're going to put it on your desk. And every single time you're doing something, it could be small, it could be large, that you feel like should be delegated, write it down. And as you go through the week, you realize all these little things. It could be paying a bill. It could be making a phone call. And you realize, wow, there really is a lot of things I could delegate so I can do money making activities. I love that idea. I think I'm going to start that. And I love the yellow pad because it just reminds me of the old days with my dad who yeah. always have a yellow legal pad. But, um, you know, we said something there that was um, that someone could do it better than them. And, you know, I think it could be better. It's also just different. And I think that is, you know, nobody likes things that are different. <laughs> this is one of the problems in our country right now is, you know, we need to open up our minds to that we might somebody else could get the same result maybe it's better maybe it's maybe not so good but it's just different you know and that is letting go and just saying hey they're gonna get there on their own way mm -hmm. i i face this with my own boss here sometimes he wants me to do things a certain way and i think don't tell me how to do this you know i got it but yeah. it's it's hard to when you see someone doing something that's not your methodology you're yeah. gonna probably get to the same result just chill out <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's been hard for me. I'm super OCD. And like, sometimes I'll see someone doing something and I'm like, uh, that's exactly how I've done it. But you know what? I don't have the time to do all of these things myself. So I have to delegate. So how, so once they have the yellow pad with all of these extra, you know, these tasks on there that they could potentially mm -hmm. be delegating now, what's the next step then? Yeah. So the next step is I like to take that yellow pad and look at it and see don't just assume that one person can do all of these things. 
Because that's going to be the next big mistake that a CEO is going to do. They're going to say, well, I've done it all. So I can hire someone and they can do it all. Well, if it's marketing and it's accounting and it's administrative, it might not all be one person. Mm -hmm. So figure out what you're going to hire for in that pad. And then you're going to create systems um, that you can easy rep easily replicate. So whether that's a training or a task list, hey, this is how I send out my bills or this is how I like things done, you're going to create a system for that. So you just mentioned hiring. Let's talk about that a little bit because that is a kind of stressful situation. Some businesses, some small businesses don't have an HR person that handles it, that the business owner has to do it, yeah. which is time consuming. And, but that is something that you want to put the time in ahead of time so that then you can delegate to, right? Yeah. But mm -hmm. are there tips in, you know, the hiring process that you would suggest so that people know that they're hiring people they can trust to delegate to? Yes. Vetting is going to be key to that. Um, and especially if you're in a remote business, a lot of times what I'm seeing is that when you post a job ad, I'm getting like within two days, 1500 applicants. That's beyond overwhelming. So we use tools that kind of help us vet those applicants. So I don't have to go through 1500 people. So we use a tool called wise hire, um, and it puts people through a series of questions. So I can, I can ask questions. They can go through a personality test. And that way I'm only looking, let's say maybe 50 applicants that fit what I'm looking for. So I, I've already kind of you know, narrowed those people down before I get to the interview process. Okay, well, thank you for your time with us today, Jennifer. Jennifer Stats, statssolutions.com is where you can find her or at Stats Solutions on Instagram. They are a licensed agent, or she's a licensed agent in multiple states, but this is an operations and marketing consulting agency for real estate businesses. So check out Stats Solutions. And thank you for spending time with us here at America Trends. We love having you, spending every night with you here on Biz TV. We'll see you again tomorrow night.